Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. This math problem was asked to primary school students in China, and it's causing huge debate online as people are arguing about what the correct answer should be. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. In order to solve this problem, you have to pay very careful attention to the pictures. For example, the third equation has a term which involves two whistles. The corresponding term in the very last line involves only one whistle. Furthermore, the cat in the third line has a whistle around its neck, and in the very last line, there is no whistle. So we have to take these differences into account to get the correct value for the very last line. So let's solve each equation. We start out where we have a pair of shoes plus a pair of shoes plus another pair of shoes, which equals 30. So we have three pairs of shoes, which equals 30. This means that a single pair of shoes is equal to 30 divided by 3, which equals 10. We'll use this information to solve the next equation. We now have a pair of shoes plus two terms where we have a cat that has a whistle around its neck, equaling 20. The pair of shoes is equal to 10. We then have two terms of the cat with a whistle around its neck, and this equals 20. So we have two of the terms of the cat with the whistle around its neck equal to 10, which means one of these terms is equal to 10 over 2, which equals 5. We'll now use this to solve the next equation. We have a cat with the whistle around its neck plus two whistles plus two whistles equals 13. The cat with the whistle is equal to five, and then we have four different whistles, which we'll group together to be 13. So we have four whistles is equal to 13 minus five, which is eight. Therefore, a single whistle is equal to eight over four, which equals two. So we're almost done, but we have to solve one more equation, and it's not even part of our original problem. We have a cat with a whistle is equal to a cat without a whistle plus the whistle. So we know the value of the cat with the whistle is 5, and we know that the whistle is equal to 2. Therefore, we can solve that the cat without the whistle is equal to 3. So now we figure out all the information we need to evaluate the last line correctly. What is the value of a pair of shoes plus a cat without the whistle times a whistle? The pair of shoes is 10, the cat without the whistle is 3, and the whistle is equal to 2. Now in order to get the correct value, we have to use the order of operations and correctly evaluate 3 times 2 first. Multiplication takes precedence over addition. So we have 10 plus 3 times 2, which is 10 plus 6, and that gives us the correct answer of 16. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can support me on Patreon or check out my books, which are listed in the video description. You can also catch me on social media, either at Presh Tallwalker or at Mind Your Decisions, depending on the site.